When the edges of an image are not well defined, Photoshop users can utilize the Channels panel to increase the contrast between the image and its background in order to mask it out. The following steps can be used to mask complex objects such as bushes, hair, and feathers. The data file we'll be using for this lesson is called maskingcomplex.psd. After you've opened up the data file, double-click on the Channels panel. Different images have different number of channels depending on the type of color setup that they are using. For example, an RGB picture is composed of three color channels, red, green, and blue. Each channel shows the amount of that color in the image on a gray scale. This can be seen in the thumbnail preview in the channels panel or on the image itself when the channel is selected. The first step in masking is to select the color from the channel that has the most contrast from the outline of the object of choice. Because the blue channel has the most contrast from the outline of the tree and the background, let's right click on the blue channel and duplicate that channel. Go ahead and select OK. Let's turn the blue copy channel on and the blue channel off. To start masking the tree using the blue copy channel, click on the image menu. Scroll down to adjustments, then select levels. Let's move the Levels dialog box so that we can see the image. The first thing we want to do is drag the shadow slider to the right until the image of the tree is completely black. Then we want to drag the highlight slider to the left until the background is completely white. In order to tweak the edges of the tree, you can drag the midtone slider either to the left or to the right as needed. When finished, click on the OK button. Because we want to keep the tree, we need to invert the tree and the background so that the tree is white and the background is black. So go to the image menu, Scroll down to Adjustments, and select Invert. Next, we want to load the tree by clicking on the Select menu, then choosing Load Selection. Hit the OK button. Let's double click on the Layers panel. We want to duplicate the background layer by right clicking on it, then selecting Duplicate Layer. Click on OK. Then with the background copy layer selected, click on the Add Layer Mask button located at the bottom of the Layers panel. Let's turn the background layer off by clicking on the visibility icon. And now you can see that the tree has been successfully masked. In order to refine the mask, let's double click on the masks panel. Click on the mask edge button. Then preview your mask against different types of backgrounds. Let's refine the mask on black. Let's drag the contract and expand slider to the left until it reaches about negative 57. If you'd like to experiment with the other options in the refine mask dialog box, go ahead. To see the before and after, 
uncheck and check the preview checkbox. We're going to refine the mask a little bit more by dragging the contract and expand slider a little bit more to the left. When finished, click on the OK button.